Hello everyone, welcome to a new series called Five Minute Farms. In this series, I'm gonna teach you how to build some early and mid game Minecraft farms in under five minutes. Everything we need is in this shulker box, so it's a good time to pause the video, take a look at the list, and get everything that you need. Now this is an early game farm for leather and cooked steak, so there's not too much that's very difficult to acquire. Probably the dispenser is the most difficult thing to make because you do need bows, so collect that spider string early and you'll be ready to go. A couple of buckets as well for the lava and the water. That's all you're gonna need. All right, let's throw five minutes on the clock and go. First thing you're gonna wanna do is place down your double chest right there, and then you're gonna dig out three spaces behind it to put hoppers into that. We'll pick up this dirt as we go in here. Hopper into the chest, hopper into the hopper, and another hopper into the hopper. Put your observer down right there, facing into the chest. We're gonna go with a row of five of our blocks behind and one on top just above that. Dispenser, dispenser, and dispenser, there you go. We're gonna finish this back wall. We'll go up one, two, and three, finish this, just keep going all the way over, and then on the way down, we'll hit another one there. With that done, we're just going to stick a stair right over the observer, just like that, upside down. Go around to the back here, we're going to knock this block out and put our piece of redstone here. Just like that. Finish these walls up on the sides, come out two, just like this two all the way around and then put a roof on except the piece that's directly above the stair leave empty now you're going to go in and put a trapdoor on this hopper trapdoor on this hopper go inside onto the hopper and put a trapdoor facing this way so it opens that way you're going to do the same thing on the other side and opens that way that'll keep your cows in later on now we're going to build a quick staircase just one two three like that go up here finish the top of this quickly there's a lever there lever a button on the front of there and on the observer itself. Now we're going to put the glass wall in. Glass all the way around here just like this. Okay, at this point we're almost done. We're just going to rearrange our inventory a little. Grab the two buckets of lava, the bucket of water, and the wheat. That's what we need for the rest of this farm. It's almost done. We're going to stick a lava bucket in this lower dispenser, another lava bucket in the lower dispenser, and a water bucket in the top one. Grab our wheat and let's go get some cows. I'm going to suggest for this part you turn on hitboxes, F3 and B. Go grab the cows real quick. We're just going to bring four back with us and get all four of them into the farm and call it done. At this point, the farm itself is actually completed. We just need the cows in there to actually make it work. Now, I'd like to credit the original designer of the farm in the description, but unfortunately, I don't know who that is. So if you do, let me know in the comments and I'll add it to the description. The only place I've seen it is from a YouTuber who didn't know where it came from. Once you get back over to the farm, just climb up the stairs. Now you're going to hold crouch for this. And then just get some of the cows up to the top. You don't need all of them. You just need a couple. And just slowly push them into the hole. You can see with the hitboxes turned on, it's pretty easy to line up the holes. And you just whoop, overshot a little bit there. Just come around him until you're on the right side again. And then boop, knock him in. Get one more over near the hole. There we go. We're going to knock this one in real quick. Same exact idea. Get in there. And one more nudge. There you go, in the hole. This isn't too hard. It's a little bit tedious, but not that. Oh, that one ran himself right in. Okay, we've lost one. Where'd you go? Oh, you're over here. Let's go grab this last one. We've still got a minute 50 to finish this farm. This is an easy one. The benefit of this farm is cooked steak is a great food, especially early game, and especially not using any fuel to cook it. So we're not using any of our precious early game coal. We'll also use a lot of leather early game for books, bookshelves, enchanting table, all that stuff. So this is a very super useful and easy early game farm that you can probably do in the first day or two of your Minecraft world. And as long as you keep breeding the cows, you're going to have pretty much unlimited food for the rest of the time you play that world. All right, there we go. In three minutes and 40 seconds, I've finished the farm. It's done. The timer's now off. We've bred a couple of those. I want to get this water turned off, but get these trap doors closed. When you've only got four in here, you need to breed up 24 in there, so they start like entity cramming. All right, I've gone ahead and done a few breedings now. You can see the babies are at the bottom. The adults stay at the top. If you need more adults at the top, just close the trap doors over. Do a couple of rounds of breeding. You'll have all the adults that you could possibly need. And then once the farm is done and the cows grow up at the bottom, all you have to do is simply Push that button there. We're going to go up and turn the water on first because the fire can spread up to the cows and you don't want that. Come down here, push the button. 
all the adult cows at the bottom will get cooked and the babies will stay alive. Go back up here and turn the water off. Come on down and see what we've done. There we go. We're getting the leather. We're getting the steak now. All that in just three minutes and 40 seconds. You'll have all the leather you could possibly need, all the cooked food. Hope you enjoyed that one. Come back for the next one. We'll do more five minute farms soon. Bye.